All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, got a 2007 BMW 525XI. We do not work on Europeans that often. I mean, we, we take some. This one was towed in uh, from a local Pep Boys. They did not work on the vehicle. They, um, they got it in from the customer complaining of a no start and they didn't want to get involved in it. So they recommended us and the tow truck came, brought it down and here it is. So here's what we got. Uh, this is a push button start BMW. As you can see, the key would be inserted here and then you would uh, step on the brake pedal and uh, hit the button, okay, to start it. This one, the key, uh, when, you, when you do hit the button here, uh, initially I heard a sound, like a groaning, um, but that was about it. So I scan tested the thing. My Autel is uh, just about dead, I have to charge it. So I took a picture just to, uh, just to show you guys what I, where I was at. And let's see if I could get this thing to focus in. Okay, those are the codes that I got out of the, uh, out of the engine control module. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, the one I'm focusing on is the A0B4, which is uh, Car Access Systems Engine Start Operation, okay? Um, it doesn't start, so I'm going to treat this thing like any other no crank, no start. I'm going to get a diagram and I'm going to go through it and I'm going to check and see how it works. Now, normally that's how I would do it. On this thing, that's not how I did it. Um, on this thing, the first thing I wanted to know was am I getting a signal to the starter? Do I have 12 volts at the starter? Uh, you know, battery feed? And um, do I have a ground? Those are the three things I wanted to do. So uh, I monitored power to the starter. I monitored my um, my ground, and when I well, I'm not going to lie to you. When I went to monitor the ground, uh, there was no ground. So I'm going to show you what, what I'm talking about. All right. So I'm going from chassis ground to my battery and you can see battery is weak but we're uh, right about 12 volts now I'm gonna take my uh, test light okay the ground is low tested you know you have a good ground here I got my meter lead. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna move it to the block around right here by the alternator. To get in there, okay. And again, I'm reading 12 volts. Here's my load tester. Okay, I have no block ground here. So what I'm gonna do, now if you notice now, look at one volt, 1 1.8. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and look down here. I don't know if I can get you guys a shot or not, but we'll try. Okay, if you look, I'm going to try to lay this camera down right there. That is your block ground. Or what's left of it. Okay, so there's your issue. We got to fix the ground that nobody started throwing parts in this thing because they could have gone down a rabbit hole with this one quick so I got to get under this thing and put a put a new ground on all right so here's the uh, here's the missing link 
try to get you a shot in there at the bolt if I can. If you look right there at that bolt that's sticking up, that is where the, uh, the ground goes. And then on the other side, it's gonna, I can't really get the camera in here, but it comes up to the frame because the battery's in the back on this thing. The chassis grounded, then the chassis grounds with that strap, it grounds the block. So I got to repair this and then we'll test it afterwards. All right, so we're hooked up back again on ground uh, meter here and here. Okay, we're reading 11, uh, almost 12 volts. Now I'm going back to my block ground here. And as you can see, we are holding uh, consistently you know, at the same voltage. Okay, we have no voltage drop now. We have a, uh, we have a good ground. The importance of load testing. Uh, again, if you just run a meter with no load, you are going to absolutely screw yourself on a diag. So load testing, grounds all the time, okay, and powers. Um, let's see if it starts. Yeah, the battery's weak. Gotta charge it. But let's see if she wants to do anything now. Hey, there it is. Misfire and all. Misfire is not my problem. It was here for a new start. It's fixed. Here is uh, the old cable. Completely fell apart. So we cleaned up everything, put a new cable in, and uh, that's that. So always load test. Always. Thanks for watching.